so uh, I'm late, but yeah, SN7 anyways. The first the components, just 40% heating effectiveness, uh, you must have it, one component. Scavenger can be replaced with any normal Vanguard, Thorns can be replaced with an AoE Guard, uh, Sniper, and the Boss Cutter, but you will be replacing three Operators for one, and you might not have enough Deployment Limit later, so if you can use or borrow Thorns, use him, because you can't farm this stage anyways, so why not? Kadeshi can be replaced. I mean, Kirishi is essential and irreplaceable. She can theoret theoretically be replaced with uh, one Arts Guard and one Heating Defender to block off the right lane. But uh, that is very unlikely because the uh, enemies have 80% physical and Arts Dodge and you will have a better chance of uh, getting two 6 stars back to back in Gotcha. So, yeah. 80% dodge. That's why I'm using uh, true damage, because you cannot dodge true damage in Arknights. Honeyberry can be replaced with an elemental healer. Enzo and Hibiscus can be replaced with one good healer, like Susuro E1 is enough. And then you won't need two medics, and you can free up one deployment limit. Which you will need to if you want to uh, replace thorns. So, uh, yeah, Noakorn is here to buy us some time at the beginning of the stage because we won't have enough DP to deploy anyone. You can also just use um, use a what's it called Vanguard if you want to. Cardigan, he uh, can be replaced with any defender. Kirara can be replaced with any ambusher. So Mizuki, Ethan, and Mentgor would all work. I'm using Kirara because, uh, yeah, I don't, I didn't build her. So yeah, Murdo, Blackguard, and two slots open. Bring anyone that can stun or anyone that can silence to, you know, stun or silence the enemy so they can no longer dodge. Let's start. Alright, if your Myrtle is M3, you can deploy her at the beginning of the stage, but I don't think many of you have her M3, so just deploy the Vanguard first. And then deploy Noah Corn to yeah start the enemies and buy some time for yourself. Once you have enough DP, deploy Myrtle in an obvious position so you know when her skill is ready and you can activate her skill once it's ready. Once you have enough DP, deploy uh, Thorns. Activate Myrtle's skill as soon as you can. Just wait a bit because I have her skill and I'm 3. Uh, yeah, Norcon can be re retreated once you have thorns down. Active Moto skill. Uh, yeah, the play Kirishi to keep the Vanguard alive. And deploy Kira right here. Activate thorns skill once it's ready. Deploy uh, Medic to keep both Thorns and Kira alive. Uh, yep. Deploy Monster once you have enough DP. As you can see, the DP is pretty tight because... Yeah, the DP is pretty tight. And you can just see it. Deploy Medic. Uh, a second Medic. To keep both Kira and uh, Thorns alive. Yep. And now on this wave, Thorns might not be able to kill all three birds because he's under level or something. So you can just use a Saint's hand to stun them and deal damage on them. To yeah, help Thorns kill them. 
Also, the pre one priest has spawned on the upper right corner. You can see that through the glowing blue line, so you can just activate Gadishi's skill now to kill that priest. Also, three enemies incoming. Thorns might not be able to kill them for some reason, just use the same turn again, it's pretty handy. Yeah. Now we have enough DP, we can just get rid of Murdo and the play Cardigan here and retreat Scavenger. And, uh, yeah, the boy, one medic here. Exactly, three medics. Again, if you have a good medic, one medic would be enough. Second priest has spawned, activate Kirishi's skill to kill it. Oh yeah, uh, if, you are, if you replace thorns with an AoE guard, a sniper, and a boss cutter, you want to use the sniper on any tile uh, above Honeyberry to kill that bird, which thorns just killed. You do not want to deploy anyone on this tile, this tile, or this tile, because the boss does a fuck ton of damage to the uh, adjacent tiles when he eats that artifact. So yeah, activate Kadishi's skill to kill the third priest. Once you kill the third priest, retreat monster. And once monster's ready, redeploy him behind the defender. Because uh, all the enemies spawning from now on, We'll have Nero damage, and uh, if you uh, by deploying Cardigan in front of Monster, the enemies will apply Nero damage on Cardigan, and yeah, she will get stunned instead of Monster, and Monster can still hit the enemies due to how they move. Uh, yeah, just like that. As you can see, Monster can still hit him, and he is not taking any Nero damage. Just activate Kirishi skill to kill the 80% dodge. On the left side, the moss on the floor didn't spread because I put I put Kira above it, and yeah, Thorns can just block the 80% dodge. And in order to kill the 80% dodge faster, you can just deploy the saint's hand and to and just stun the 80 person dodge and when the 80 person dodge is stunned he cannot dodge attacks and thorns can easily take him out so yeah once the 80 person dodge is dead you can retreat kirara to free up deployment limit and deploy noakorn here and act very one scale to keep noakorn alive Also, you can activate monster again. Yeah. If you're replacing thorns, you... Uh, yeah, just deploy a boss cutter on Noakorn's position. And kill the boss. Just like that. It's pretty easy. And... Oh, uh, shit. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna retreat Honeyberry to free up the space because I mistimed a monster's skill and one's gonna leak. So I'm just, yeah, gonna deploy someone to star bit. That will do. Activate Kedishi's skill once you can. Just like that. Yeah, I fucked up a bit at the end of this thing, but yeah, it still worked. Should have activated monster scale pretty early and should have retreated card again at some point to let the enemies all the enemies come past so monster can kill out of them. But yeah, that's that. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. And bye.